Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Hustle International Academy. In 2021, today I am here to explain the all statistics testing parametric test versus no parametric test and what is the T test, Z test, F test and at the last chi square test. This lecture contains five parts. This lecture contains five parts. In five parts, I will discuss about first part parametric and non parametric test. Part two contains Z test, part 3 contains T test, part 4 contains F test and last of all, part 5 contains chi square test. I will discuss each, each part, each steps with secrets and tricks which nobody tells you about that. So must watch this lecture from starting to end and don't skip any parts. So without wasting any time, let's run the lecture. So in part 1, I will discuss the parametric versus no parametric test. Very very easiest definitions I am telling you back, which is very very easiest to you is the mean. So must remember that for mean we always use parametric test and for median we always use no parametric test. Very easy definition is the mean more accurately represents the set of distribution of your data and you know and your sample size is large enough we use parametric test. And must remember that Z test, T test. F test are the parametric test which I, I will explain in this lecture. So stay connected in this small parametric test. Obviously, if the mean, if the median more accurately represents the just like before general distribution, and a last point is very important. Even if you have a large sample size, so this is the parametric test and this is the no parametric test. So must remember that chi square test is the no parametric test. I hope that. You can learn a lot of points and concepts about that. Now beginning the part 2 which is, which is the Z test. So must watch lecture now. Uh, today all medical problems of hypothesis testing about Z test will become very very easy after watching that. So, so must focus on that point. Must remember when we face any numericals, any problems of hypothesis testing, we face first step. In first step here, when sigma or sigma scale, sigma is the standard deviation, and sigma scale is the variance. When sigma or sigma scale is given in the numerical in the problem, then we always use z is equal to x bar minus mu over sigma over square root n. Must remember. And x bar is the sample mean and mu is the Population mean and sigma is the standard deviation and is the sample size. Must remember, first part is very very easy. Second part is difficult, is very very interesting when sigma or sigma scale is not given. When there is any numerical, any problem, sigma sigma scale is not mentioned, is not given, then must remember, then we first of all check sample size. Must remember. If sample size just focus on our sample size, must remember. If sample size is greater than 30, then we always use the z test z is equal to x bar minus mu over s over square root of n. And must remember s is the standard deviation, also standard deviation, but s is the biased, must remember. S is the simply used formula square root of smission x minus x bar minus square root of n. But if you calculate the formula smission x minus x bar completely square uh, completely square so must remember it is also equal to smission x square minus smission capital smission x square over small must remember you, you don't need to make a table to calculate that just use this formula to calculate the value of smission x minus x bar completely square I hope that you cleared the point. Now this is the part two. Now part three is coming now, which is uh, which is I will discuss about the t test. Also, must also watch that. When sigma or sigma square is not given, then we first of all check sample size. In t test, we check the sample size. If less than thirty, you can say that. Uh, 29, 28, 2, 3, etc. Then we always use the T test. Must remember. And formula is very easy. T is equal to X bar minus mu over stylish S over square root of N. And this stylish S, I must remember, this is the unbiased standard deviation. And formula is 
एस इज इक्वल टू स्क्र टू मिशन एक्स माइनस एक्स पावर एन माइनस वन सो एन माइनस वन इज ऑलवेज कम फोर एस इज अनबाइस एन स्मॉल एन विच आई ट्वेंटी टोल्ड यू अबाउट दैट एन स्मॉल एन ऑलवेज कम इन दिस सेक्शन एक्स माइनस एक्स बार कंप्लीटली स्क्योर बनाए विच आई ट्वेंटी टोल्ड यू बनाए देन एस फोर बाइस डेटा एंड देन एस इज फोर अनबाइस डेटा मस्ट रिमेंबर दैट मस्ट रिमेंबर एस I use for bias and stylish head. I always use for unbiased. That's clear. And last point here, you must remember the shape of Z and T is always same. Have same range minus twenty to plus twenty and and which I said that bell shape. I hope that you clear the points and concepts about that. Now part four is coming now, which is the F test. But also watch. When two normally distributed populations have equal variances, then we always use must remember F test. You can say that F distribution. And must remember the two nodes, which is first node is here when. S one square is greater than S two square. You can also use S one square that, but I don't use that. Yeah, I've already told you about don't told you about that. S one and S two I always use for biased capital S and small S one, small S two I always use for unbiased. Next number when S one square is greater than S two square. Then we always use f is equal to s one square divided by s two square. For example, for example, I tell you that s one square is a uh, ten and s two square is five. So here s one square ten is get then five. So we always use the formula f is equal to s one square or s two square. That's clear. And second point, when s two square is greater than s one square, then we always use f is equal to s two square, which is very very important point which nobody tells you about that. And for example, I can say s two square is twenty and s one square is fifteen. You can note that s two square is greater than s one square, so we always use the formula f is equal to s two square or s one square. Must remember. And last important and more secret and tricks about the F test, which are uh, which are I'm describing now. Mostly values of S1 square and S2 square are already given in the numericals in the problems. But in some cases, values of S1 square and S2 square are not given. Then what to do? If S1 square, you can say that S1 square is not given, and S2 square. Values of S two square are not given. Then what to do? Now I'm going to tell you the most important secrets and points about that. When values are not given, then we use the formula of F test, which is here. Must remember that we use S one square is equal to N one divided by N one minus one. Multiply by capital S one square, which is bias. I will tell you that capital letter is for bias, and stylish I will use for unbiased. That's clear. So that's formula I will use to calculate the value of S one square. Just putting the values of N one and capital S one square, and that S one square will be given. Must remember that that S one square value will be given, but that value. Will not given. That's problem. If you face any problem, that's value as per scale is not given, and value of as per scale is given. Capital as per scale, which is biased. Then we always use the formula as per scale is equal to n one divided by n one minus one multiplied by as per scale. Very very shortcut and secrets about that. And last point, as per scale is equal to n two. Divided by n two minus one multiplied by capital S two square. So for S one square, we use the formula, and S two square, we use the formula for F test. I hope that 
you have a gain of lot of points and lot of concepts and that will be helpful and beneficial to this lecture and last lecture which is the part 5 and which are discussing about the chi square test must also was which is very very helpful to you chi square test is always used to test the value of population variance sigma square in this section we will use the formula chi square is equal to summation x minus x bar completely square over sigma square when x over x data is given that's clear when we have the cash, uh, formula x square is equal to n s square over sigma square when biased data is given and for unbiased data and data is given unbiased and we also use chi square is equal to n minus 1 stylish s square over sigma square must remember and chi square test is always used also for goodness of it, binomial, Poisson, normal, and also for independence and association between two attributes, and last for homogeneity. And must remember that formula we use mostly chi square is equal to submission. This submission is whole, complete from, uh, from above and low. Submission F0 minus F E, complete square divided by F E. And F0 is the observed frequency, expected frequency is the, and must remember F0 observed frequency is the given frequency. Given frequency is the uh, observed frequency, expected frequency we always calculate. Expected frequency we always calculate. I hope that you have gained a lot of points and concepts about that. If you have any questions related to this lecture, you can talk me through comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button, all notification button for gaining notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.